Permissive hypercapnia is a ventilation strategy that allows a relatively higher partial pressure of CO2 to permit lung protective ventilation with low tidal volumes. The term permissive hypercapnia was coined by Hicklings and Associates in the early 90s in their seminal descriptions of improved survival in ARDS in which plateau pressures and tidal volumes were limited. During mechanical ventilation, target PCO2 levels are conventionally maintained within normal limits, that is 35 to 45 mm of mercury. However, the level of ventilatory support required to maintain these normal PCO2 levels may damage the lungs of a patient with ARDS, commonly referred to as VALI, that is ventilator-associated lung injury. VALI may be attenuated by lowering the tidal volume, the respiratory rate or the plateau pressure or both. This strategy results in a reduction in alveolar ventilation with an inevitable rise in PCO2 levels. This strategy of deliberate hypoventilation is termed permissive hypercapnia. This strategy has been shown to reduce morbidity and mortality in ARDS and other respiratory diseases requiring mechanical ventilation. There are quite a few numbers of adverse effects associated with hypercapnia such as pulmonary hypertension, right ventricular dysfunction, core pulmonale, increased susceptibility to tissue infection, impaired left ventricular contractility due to acidosis which might lead to hypotension, there may be disorientation, panic, hyperventilation, convulsion, unconsciousness and even death. So there is no consensus about the upper limit and the optimal CO2 level for mechanically ventilated patients with acute lung injury. There are however some recommendations with one recommendation saying a tidal volume, a low tidal volume which will keep the PCO2 level of 45 to 50 mm of mercury with right ventricular monitoring with an echocardiography for development of acute core pulmonale.